That is brutal. Okay, this is for you, Chris. Just trying. I've done all this before, and I'm just trying out a new axe. Um, and I still not very good at parrying and repost. Whatever, the, whatever that means. Well, I know what it means, but you know. So when you come to it down there, you'll find a key. So head to that bit. This is just before the uh, second boss. <coughs> so that's probably the. Is that the third? Yeah, that's the third checkpoint. Uh, you'll chat to her later. The second boss is in there. I haven't attempted him yet. But I will break everything. Break every box and barrel and that table because there'll be loads of shards and shit to find. Um, now down here uh, is it these guys regenerate main wall. Uh, oh yeah this guy there he is. So these I still haven't quite got used to backstabbing these guys. Same, I presume it's the same draws as Bloodborne. Oh, bollocks. I want to try and backstab him. There we go. Oh, that's it. Damn it. Um, See, so when you press R3, it focuses on him. Oh, damn it, missed it. Backstab. So I've got a. I'm doing a power build at the moment, so he's super, super strong. Press triangle to put your um, to put your sword. You put your weapon from one hand to two hands, um, and this is the selection screen, just the touchpad. So I have got two shields. This is my latest shield. It's pretty massive. Um, but you see in the bottom left-hand corner the weight there. Um, I'm a bit maxed out on weight, so I'm just making something even slower. So there, that thing in my hand is a gauntlet which fires stuff and uses up your uh, magic. But if you've got... Where is it? That faithful disciple thing um, equipped, then you'll, your magic will re reload. But I've just found this, so I don't know what it does yet, so I'm just trying to work out what it does. Um, anyway, this... Sword persistence is a massive beastly powerful sword that you get from defeating the first um, first boss. And I've been using that. It's pretty slow, but it's very powerful. Um, so R so R1 is your standard attack. R2 is your heavy attack. And the longer you hold down R2 before you do it, does it even heavier? You can run by pressing X, but that uses up your yellow bar, which is your energy in this. I think it might be called stamina and. Uh, um, uh, uh, in, sorry, I think it might be called stamina in Dark Souls. And what, what, what. Yeah, L1 is block, and L2 is parry, which I've yet to parry anybody because I cannot bloody do it. Um, but I've been going for two-handed, press triangle, you put your sword away, but now I've got my out. Um, so put that away, just two sword, just two-handed. Now, oh yeah, once you've, once you've locked on somebody with R3, multiple ones you just switch R you should switch the right pad and that should um, switch to now if you these guys are blind so I can try and sneak up to them and do uh <coughs> damn it that didn't work quick run so I killed him but I want to do a backstab so 
let's try and kill both these. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's terrible. Okay, so that's clearly not how you attack them, but because this persistence breaks sword, break sword is so massive, it does dispatch them pretty quick. So this is actually going back the wrong way, but in there, oops, sorry, in that box there, there's some really cool armor, which I'm wearing at the moment. Um, so if I've got, yeah, anyway, this one's if you run, press R2. Wrecked. Just, just demolish them, which is pretty cool. But obviously you've got a time. And those, those are the pretty weakling baddies. Uh, who's that? Oh yeah, he's a big dude. Let's run and wreck him. Damn it, that wasn't a good idea. So I'm gonna try it. Backstab. Okay, backstab didn't work. So they're just running at you because they can hear you. But I think once they've gone, let's try and wreck him. Yeah, yeah. It's dude up there. I'm sure this... Oh no, that dude was here. There's another dude up there. Um, this is back the way I came, so anyway, this is just, I'm just practicing my things. I'm not, not doing very well. So, I think you can't be pressing anything else if you're behind them. Oh shit. No, oh, what a two. Okay, so there. That was a partial... Now let's try and practice my parry. Oh no, I can't crack parry with my sword. I think my shield. Okay. Oh yeah, they do that scream thing. So let's see how fast my parry is. Oh! Oh! I should have had him then. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I don't think do that. So I could go in and kill him, but I want to be able to. Harry. Anyway, let's try. Oh shit! <laughs> anyway, so clearly, I'm not very good at parrying. Uh, so yeah, any. Oh, anyway. So I'm going literally backwards on myself here. But... So you go into these. Now, if you want to, obviously, you know, with like Dark Souls and Bloodborne, I think. It's like, um, you can't, if you press, yeah, press L3, and then press triangle, you won't lose, you won't replenish your health, and you won't lose your XP bonus, but you'll save yourself the checkpoint. But I don't think, but it won't respawn, really. I, th I think players only respawn, sorry, baddies respawn only if you die, or if you, um, if you're changing it, if you move areas. Damn it, kick. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. Oh, I cannot get behind him. No, that's not it either. Okay, so, because I've got a beastly shield, it's not taking any damage. But I don't want to do it, I want to... Oh, come on, man. <laughs> All I want to do is do a backstab. It's like a finishing move, backstab. You'll press that lever like, early on. Okay. So I'm still get, I'm getting... See current experience in the bottom left-hand corner? So I'm getting some mild stuff for this. Anyway, let's just try out some of these So that's pretty powerful, that is. So, fate. So I've got my strengths up. So we're at 16 anyway, so I can hack this. Attack speed is 80. Now, does that mean it's faster? Or does that mean it's slower? I presume it's slower. Let's just have a quick look. So... Okay, that's pretty slow. So let's try fate. That's definitely quicker. Okay, so the lower the percentage of speed means it's quicker. Um, and then, yes, yeah, so if you've got... 
So I think if you've got a weapon in your hand like that, two single hand weapons, forwards. No, damn it. If you push forward and. No. Oh, there's a kick. Kick what when you've got one thing in each hand, but the easy way to kick is put, get rid of your shield by pressing triangle and then press L2, and then it just kicks that way. So. I think that just sort of pushes a, a player back. I use it mostly to uh, destroy the environment. I don't know what it's like in Bloodborne, but in um, Dark Souls 3, there's. Um, because it's multiplayer in parts, there's lots of stuff written on the ground which gives you. Uh, uh, it gives you tips, but there, there's nothing, nothing in this. So, I'm going to head down here. Um, again, this is just a practicing really. There's two in here, so I'm just gonna wreck this guy. 572. So uh, what I wanna do is try my parry. No shit. That was rubbish. That was absolute rubbish. Come on, motherfucker, come on. Come on, attack me. Attack me. Oh well. So these these um those boxes that's usually oh, closed and I've got stuff in there. Sometimes you'll find shards and stuff to use in there, that's why I'm breaking all those up. What time is it? Um Um Well now you do it. Oh yeah, share. There we go. 